Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be guiding you through the creation of uh, Blower Assembly in Kitia V5. So the whole series I'll be going through the Part Design Workbench, Generative Shape Design Workbench and Assembly Design Workbench. So the first part of uh, you know creation of the upper housing was my previous tutorial so keep watching so that I can complete this upper housing so now you need to create this particular uh, part here so for that I'm going to switch back to the generative shape design workbench and uh, I'll uh, create a plane which is of 8.15 so reverse direction Click on the sketch. And now you need to create this particular profile here. So you can use the rectangle here and uh, give this particular distance that is 5.75 length. And uh, this particular length is 4.2. And now you can pull it up a little bit so that it stays over here now you can come out of the sketch you have to give a filleting of uh, uh, you know you can see it's 1.5 uh, fillet is here so you can select the fillet tool and select the edge and start giving the fillet so it's going to be 1.5 each on all the edges so what you're going to do with these profiles is you're, you're going to create a sweep and a multi-section and then after that you're going to switch back to the part design and do the fixed surface command. So let me create a profile for the sweep. So the profile is going to be, I'll create a circle here and uh, I'll project these two lines to 3D and uh, what I'm going to do, I'll select and create these as the axis lines because I don't want them to be in my sketch. So I'll use the coincidence command and uh, let me give a radius for this. So the radius is 10 here, so I'll give 10 and use the profile tool from here just give a tangent for this and trim out whatever is not required here now you have your uh, sweep profile being created now go to the insert surfaces sweep and uh, select this as your sketch and this as your guide curve click ok you have your first sweep being created here now let, let's uh, do the second sweep so before that uh, let me just uh, make this clear so insert operations extract and select the surface I'll just click OK and you have your surface being created just hide this particular part here and uh, let's just do a little bit of work on this so this is my element uh, and just uh, click other side preview OK and now select the split once again this one and this one click OK you need to create a plane here so create plane and through three points first point second point and third point use a split command once again so this one this is the cut on. so this is going to be the element to cut so you have your uh, you know uh, element which is having a you know which you can do the fill command now use the surface go to the fill command so your uh, whatever you're creating if you want to convert that to the part design it should be completely a, a particular element it should not be three different elements or so so now I have a closed surface over here now I can switch back to the part design workbench and uh, so before that uh, let me just uh, do the uh, next small element right here so I'll switch back to the generative shape design workbench now I'll uh, create one more plane here 
so that's going to be 5.75 uh, and uh, so reverse direction uh, start giving a sketch here so you have a simple sketch to be created so just uh, invert this okay now you need to sketch this particular profile here so I'll select the rectangle and uh, I'll create this rectangle here I'll start doing the dimensioning so this dimension right here is the 7.25 you can see on the left side no uh, it's 5.25 I'm sorry and uh, this one right here is 7.25 now you can uh, do the filleting part of 1.5 like before so don't worry about the warning so keep giving the fillet same drill now just come out of the sketch and go to the insert surface and uh, select the uh, multi-section surface and select both of these uh, sketch ok and click ok so you have your uh, surfaces being created so before converting this particular surface to the part design you have to remember that you your your uh, surface are uh, a single element so you need to go to the join command and uh, you have to join the elements which constitute your design so you have all the things included in that now select the join command go to the part design workbench and now go to the insert surface base feature thick surface and click and invert the direction you can see the thickness right here is 1.5 no, the, it's going to be uh, this thickness right here is 0.25 so just give 0.25 and uh, you won't see that so you don't have to be panicked it's right here, it's been hidden so just show that and hide this so you have your uh, beautiful upper, upper housing of your blower being created right here in front of you so I hope you enjoyed my video any doubts, any clarifications you have you can comment on my video and I'll be getting back to you. Thank you.